Hi, I'm Mickey J. Cole, and I am not an expert, but this is how I transferred my music onto my iPod. It's basically three steps. First, you organize your songs into folders. Then you transfer those songs to your iTunes program, and then you transfer them from your iTunes program over to your iPod. Okay, first step, organizing your music. I'm going to go to my libraries over here, open them up. These are my major folders here. Music. So you normally keep your music. And I, I like to keep my music up here in this top one here. This other stuff is miscellaneous stuff. So all my songs that I have are up here. And I've organized them into folders. Each folder represents a playlist. Uh, and I like to name my playlist by number uh, chronologically so that I know my songs that I've recorded years ago are up here in number one and number two and my latest songs are over here in 20 and 21. Also, uh, let me open up one of these, number 15. I like to have a lot of songs in my uh, folders or my, on my playlists so that when I drive I don't have to switch playlists that often. You can order them any way you want, uh, of course. Um, here you can see when you put songs into a, a normal folder, it automatically alphabetizes them by the name. You can see it's alphabetized here. Of course, most people don't want their music alphabetized. Um, so what I'm going to do is, or what you can do, is put numbers in front of each of these songs to order them the way you want. Uh, say I take this song here, Bottom Liners. I right-click it, rename, I go to the beginning and put a 1 a space, enter, and it goes to the top. See, it's popped up here. Say the next song uh, I want is Because Of. I'll right-click it, rename, put a two space, enter, and that's number two. So you can order them that way. Let me undo these. I'm going to keep them in alphabetical order for now. Now, an important principle to keep in mind is this. When you move a file from one place within your computer say right here a song, to another place within your computer, over here, like that, it moves it. It doesn't make a copy. See, this the song's over here now, but it's no longer here. So you, when you move a file from one place within your computer to another place within your computer, it moves it. It doesn't copy it. However, when you move a song from your iTunes to a folder like this, I'm going to drag over Ring Ring, drag it over to this folder here, it makes a copy. So you've got a ring ring here and your ring ring song is still over here. Okay, let's assume we've got all of our songs organized the way we like them into playlists. Or Each folder here represents a playlist. So we're all set for our first step. Our first step is done. Okay, the second step is transferring the songs from the folders to the iTunes program. So I've got a folder up here on the right and over on the left I'm going to bring up my iTunes program. So on my music I need to put it on playlists and you can see over on the left here I have all my playlists. This is what it looks like up on top. As you move down it shows you your playlists and you'll notice I'm missing playlist number 15. That's because I deliberately right clicked it and deleted it so that I can re-import it and show you how it's done. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to import playlist number 15 which is over here. So I'm gonna maximize this. Here's all my songs, over a hundred songs. I'm gonna do a control all so that I've selected all the songs. I'll put this back down here. And now comes your basic procedure of how to do it. You go over to your iTunes program file at upper left, click on that. Click on New and make your way over carefully along this blue line. If you jump out of it, you lose it. So click on File, New, make your way over carefully until you get to Playlist and you click on that. It automatically brings up a, a window for you to name your playlist right here. I'm going to name it 15. OK. So I have a Playlist 15 with no items in it so far. Down here it says to click the Add To button in order to add songs. So you click the Add To button and it tells you the 
drag your songs to here. And we have all our songs set up here already highlighted so that if you drag one of the songs, you drag them all over. So I'm going to drag them over. Notice it shows you how many songs you have. I have 114 here. Release. And within seconds, there you go. You've got it. Up here it says sort by manual order. Now when you drag them over, it drags them over in the same order you had them. If you want to make some changes here, you can do it manually if you want to change all the way home up to the third song you just move it up manually but I don't recommend doing too many changes because it, it can get when you have a lot of songs it can get horrendously complex you can lose track of where you are and so forth what I like to do simply is this um, click this arrow and order them by the artist that's a good way to order them so it's alphabetically by artists rather than by the songs and that's the way I think most people like it, to have the same songs from the same um, artists together. Uh, and then I click Done. I'm going to maximize this. A few more things. You'll notice the artists are listed alphabetically by their first name, not their last name. And if they have a the before their name, the the is ignored. <laughs> Um, if you want to make some changes, what you have to do is right-click the song. For example, down here, here's a song I have. Uh, it's misspelled, so I'm going to make a change there. I'm going to highlight it, go over to the right to an empty spot, right-click it, Get Info. And that's where you make changes. Click into the song name, work my way over, get rid of the extra L, and then click OK. Or if I, if I have the name of the album, I can click in here and put in the name of the album or whatever I want to do in order to get the information the way that I want it. Click OK. Now one other thing I like to do is I like to put the name of the playlist at the beginning of the name of my first song, in this case 15. That way I know what playlist I'm on. Because in my car it shows what song out of how many I'm on, but it doesn't show the name of the playlist anywhere. So I don't know which playlist I'm on, and if I'm fiddling around in my car trying to find a playlist, that it gets pretty dangerous if I'm in traffic. So that's one thing I like to do is put the uh, playlist name in the, in the title of the first song. Okay, so we're all set for step number two. Now we move on to the final step number three. Final step, we're going to transfer the songs from the iTunes program to the iPod. I'm going to attach my iPod, plug in the USB cord into the USB port of my computer, like so. And it should, right here, an icon should pop up in a few seconds. There it is, that's, that's my iPod. Click on that. Click on Music. Make sure Sync Music is checked. Some people like to have the entire music library checked. I like this one here, the Selected Playlists, so that I get only the playlists that I want on my iPod and not extra stuff taking up space. Playlists, I'm going to drag it down here and you can see my playlists are already checked except for number 15. I'm going to check that so all of them are checked and then I'm going to press or click apply down here in the lower right and it starts transferring. Keeps track up here. It says not to disconnect your iPod as it's doing it. Keeps track, tells you how many songs out of how many. You can see over here that it's working. And it shouldn't take long. We're going to skip ahead time-wise. Notice that it doesn't have to redo all the playlists. Uh, it skips over the ones that are already on there and it just puts on the one that is not on there, number 15. Okay, we're done. It's finished. Uh, then all we have to do is click the um, eject button here and disconnect our iPod. So we're all set except for a couple more things I like to do. Uh, one is that I like to check my actual iPod to make sure I got 114 songs on playlist number 15. 
I check that. Okay, I got it. And the other thing is I like to make a copy of my big music folder here onto an external hard drive because <laughs> if something happens to my computer, I don't want to lose all that music I've spent all these years collecting. I hope this has been helpful. Um, you might want to visit my website, which is mostly about religion and the meaning of life, but I have some computer stuff on it also that you might find uh, helpful. Um, thanks for watching. Good luck.